Oh, hi, headsets. Frank here, and it's time for your daily update. Today, we got a bunch of new games in the PlayStation Store. First up, Unearthing Mars is a first-person shooter, a puzzle game, and a strategy game where you explore the red planet with various ships and different modes. Looks pretty cool, offering three hours or so of gameplay, so hey, it could be worth it. $14.99 and $11.99 right now with a PlayStation Plus discount. We also got Darknet today for $14.99, and in this puzzle hacking strategy game, you must use viruses and exploits to infiltrate a system before your signal is traced. With procedurally generated levels, the gameplay is endless. This one looks pretty cool, and the company sent me a code, so I should have some gameplay and a review up pretty soon. Next up, Dragon Rampa VR was released, and it is free, and it's the class trial, so don't expect a full game. Uh, it's a text adventure, looks kinda cool, super anime, super Japanese-y. If that's your thing, you're gonna love it. And that's it for games, and all of those were released yesterday, but I got a couple new ones coming our way. First up, a Mission Impossible VR experience. This one will tell an original story based on the films, and although we don't have a lot of information yet, it's gonna be made by the same studio making Paranormal Activity VR, which releases for pre-release on March 14th for Oculus and Vive, which means that it's just gonna be around the corner for PlayStation VR. Next up, Upload VR had the chance to play Archangel VR at GDC this past week and had a lot of wonderful things to say. First up, it's an on-rail shooter in the vein of Time Crisis where you have a mech and both your hands manipulate the mech's arms. They said around three hours of gameplay plus a replayable arena mode. I'm hoping to try it out at PAX East. Fingers crossed that they're there. And finally, we talked about it the other day, and the Little Star update is live. Yes, you can upload your own 3D and SBS videos. <whistles> and that's it for the news. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, Ask Frank. First up, Sick No Skills Derp says, Frank, should I get a PSVR or a Switch? Well, Sick, the Switch is very fun, and honestly, right now, it's more of a $400 Zelda machine, so if you're really into Zelda, you should get a Switch. But honestly, the PlayStation VR is where it's at. The games are amazing, the future is very promising, and they're truly immersive experiences. So if you're looking to shell out $400, PlayStation VR all day, any day. Next up, Shen Museo asks about the PlayStation Plus games. Now, I know a lot of you probably understand this already, but for those of you that don't, we do get about three or four games that work for free each month if you're a PlayStation Plus member. And even if you don't want to download them right away, go ahead and add them to your library. You have that option when you look at them in the store because after the month is over, you can't get them anymore. And if you add them to your library, you can just go back and download them anytime you want. And as long as you're a PlayStation Plus member, you have access to these games forever. Now, before I leave you, a little information regarding PAX East. Your boy Frank's going, and he will be doing nightly uploads and live tweets from the show. So follow me on Twitter to stay up to date on everything and get the exclusive look of all the new games coming to PlayStation VR. Well, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up. And hey, if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe! Hey you, check out this video, or this video. And if you haven't already, friggin' subscribe! I mean, come on!